Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cash Money Gabs taking over for the 99 and the 2000s and cashmoney.gabs on Instagram. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Here on my channel, I do cash stuffing videos, budget with me's, and all the things money and budgeting related. For today's video, we are doing a, a cash stuffing where we're just gonna be cash stuffing savings challenges from all the money that I've made from like side hustles, which I don't know if you wanna call it a side hustle, but <laughs> I've just been selling uh, my stuff like through Facebook Marketplace or on like my little Instagram that I have. Um, so this is what I was able to make in the last, I wanna say the last week or so. So maybe a little bit longer so I have the money here and some people paid with cash uh, some people Venmoed me the money and then I just like took out the cash sometimes like if I don't have time to take out the money or if like if it's something small like five bucks then I'll just like deposit it into my savings account um, I won't like include it in this so and cookie is here with us I don't know if you could hear that, but that's Cookie. She wants attention. Um, but Cookie is doing great, guys. I haven't, I don't think I've mentioned her since I've been back. She wants to sit on my lap, so you wanna say hi? Hi, everybody. My name's Cookie. You wanna smell the money? I don't know why I'm setting up the money. Like, I should probably count it, right? That would make sense. So, two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two hundred and ten dollars. So, I did make a decent amount of money this week. We're just gonna be uh, cash stuffing uh, savings challenges. Okay, so I have my savings challenges here. I'm working right now, but I figured like I could do this video really quick. My job, I haven't talked to you guys about my job, but I think the last time I talked to you all, I was, I just got promoted to like a management position, which has been super great, super awesome. But right now we have like some downtime. So I, I manage a team right now I just I don't have a team like a team of agents um, if you didn't know I work for a, a call center for a bank so I don't have a team so I don't really have much to do it's just kind of like doing some back-end things right now which has been exciting not really but I've just been watching a lot of Netflix so yeah that's kind of what's been going on with work um, okay so we're gonna do this scratch off savings challenge from budget with Carly so I'm just gonna scratch off we're just gonna do these three Okay, so the first one is five dollars. Second one is twenty-two. The last one is fourteen. For this challenge, I have just been like rounding up because I haven't been getting change. So twenty-two plus fourteen is thirty-six plus five is forty-one right so I'm just gonna put 40 because I know I've rounded up the last couple of times so we'll just put 40 so now we have two four six eight one two four uh, 140 150 160 170 171 and if you did miss it um, all these savings challenges they're just gonna go it's uh, for our move to Hawaii which you guys even though we're not moving until May, like this is probably the biggest move I have ever made. If, if you haven't been following me, um, we've moved quite a few times, but this is just gonna be like the biggest one. I don't know, it's kind of freaking me out because like I wanna plan everything, but at the same time, like I can't really yet like find a place to live i do have good news though one of the things that was like a big like expense or like a big money thing was i'm not taking my car a little over a year ago i just bought a jeep not like one of those fancy jeeps um a jeep compass which i absolutely love like i love my car but uh, it just doesn't make sense one to move i mean it does make sense to like ship a car to hawaii because cars there are so expensive but just not with a car payment like i don't want to live in hawaii with a car payment um obviously the cost of living is 
very high groceries housing um, it's definitely when I've kind of been looking at everything it's been pretty overwhelming if if I'm gonna be honest what I wanted to do like what my plan was was I am gonna get rid of my car I found someone um, a relative who might be willing to take over the payments or just to take over my loan so hopefully um, they they will do that so I don't have to worry about my car I was gonna try to save money to just buy a car like just a used car or whatever because it's an island you know what I mean like not very far that I would be going um, except besides like sitting in traffic for like two hours 40 we're doing $40 in here honestly i could probably just finish this challenge right now so let's just do that i was gonna save maybe like seven thousand five to seven thousand to buy a car i, I really just don't want a car payment i just want to like have a car that was the plan and that's you know on top of like saving you know for a place and you know for our plane tickets cookie co moving cookie is a whole nother thing like it's it's gonna be pretty expensive if you guys want i can kind of go over what our budget is for for moving so on top of that you know saving for a car uh it was a little overwhelming 10 20 30 40 50 okay but it's like i'm so sorry if you don't believe in god but <laughs> <laughs> it's another situation where it's just like look at God so my grandma um, she so graciously because I know how much she wants us to move back home to Hawaii and this is like a big a big sacrifice for us um, at least in her eyes I don't see it that way uh, at all but she's just so appreciative because we're, we're really there to like to take care of her she actually offered to give us her car and I was like no you know we could share it because my, my grandma don't go nowhere so I was like no we'll share it like that's your car you know we'll take you where you need to go and if we need to use it for whatever then yeah but you know you don't need to give me your car so we completed the spooky savings challenge so we should have 250 here so two four six eight one two four six eight two twenty forty fifty awesome so we completed this one so I'm gonna put that to the side I'm gonna put that in our moving and then I'll probably like deposit this money uh later this week look at god um one of my grandpa's uh good friends had passed away and my my grandpa like my grandparents are just like such great people honestly um my grandpa used to take care of his friend like drive him to doctor's appointments or drive him to get groceries help him with his car registration whatever so his friend actually left my grandpa his car which it's an older car Car. it's like a 2008 or 9 RAV4 a Toyota his friend was super old and it was really just my grandpa driving him around in that car so it has like less than 20,000 miles on it and my grandma her plan was to give us her car and she was actually going to buy a RAV4 now she was gonna buy like a little bit of a newer one um, not like brand brand new but like a used new ish one but now you know my grandpa's friend gave her or gave them that car that she wanted like a little bit of a bigger car because right now she has a, a Kia that she's giving to us when she told me that she was like yeah so you can really take my car I'll take the you know the the RAV4 from you know from uncle and you know it'll be great so when she told me that and like I literally cried not I mean that's it's not like a huge deal but it's just like such a big weight off my shoulders and it's just like a sign that I'm doing the right thing now granted there's gonna be like other things that probably come up that will you know kind of make this move difficult like not everything's gonna be smooth sailing just whatever but it's just a lot and a lot of other things are just like falling into place that's telling me this is the right thing this is what you should be doing with your life right now when i mentioned about moving to hawaii um i got like a lot of comments saying you know and i deleted them what like what about your life uh you know that's not really the best financial decision i mentioned in my like starting over video about you know how we had to go through our emergency fund and people just had comments about us moving to one of the most expensive places in america and starting over so it was kind of discouraging to like see those comments but um just everything that has happened it just it shows me that this is the right thing that we should be doing but at 
least we're off to like a good start. Okay, so enough of me talking. So I have this, uh, another spooky savings challenge. This one is from Budget with Carly again. Everything I have is from Budget with Carly at this point. There's a lot of other stuff that I have from um, other budgeting girls that they just, they no longer make budgeting stuff. So yeah, but pretty much everything's from, from Carly. <laughs> I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we're almost done with this challenge. I have $80 here, two, four, six, eight. So we'll probably finish this on Friday. Cookie is like, can we go play? Cause this isn't fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't got no nails on. I got some press-ons, but I don't know about press-ons, you guys. I'm probably doing it wrong, I will admit that, but they just be popping off like crazy. They'll last like a day, and then they start popping off, and that's, I be looking real ghetto like that. So I definitely need to like watch a YouTube video or something, get some instructions on how to do it right, because I know for some girlies, they last two weeks or something like that. So if you have some tips, please leave it down in the comments. For this challenge, we have two, four, six, eight, 90, 100, uh, 10. So 110, we'll probably finish this on Friday and then deposit this money as well. All right, you guys, well, that is everything um, for today's cash stuffing. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell. That way you never miss another one of my videos. I will talk to you all later. Bye now.